Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Irene and today I'll show you how I've made organizers for my bathroom. They are super simple and yet super effective for storing lots of stuff, so they'll do perfect for any small space. We have a tiny bathroom and we have no space for a full-size storage rack, so I needed desperately some kind of a trolley organizer for storing shampoos and shower gels and laundry detergent, which would be really thin to fit in between the washing machine and the shower as well as a small portable rack for storing all of my cosmetics which I have quite a lot and I'm going to make them out of wood for the first organizer I'll use wooden boards two are 24 by 8 inches and the third one is slightly longer I'm making two shelves out of the longer one they are 12 and a half then I'm giving all the parts a light sand and I'm also rounding all the edges to make them nice and smooth. So I've ended up with the two long parts 24 by 8 inches and two shelves 12 and a half by 8 inches each. I've picked the size using the height of the bottles and the jars which I will put here as a guide, as well as the size of the Dollar Tree plastic baskets which I'll use as inserts. I want them to fit snugly on the shelves. I'm marking where the shelves will sit and making different heights for them. I'll store laundry detergent on the bottom shelf, so I'm making it higher. And the top one for shampoos and the like is a bit lower to be able to pick the bottles easily. I'm fastening the shelves to place using corny clamps. These clamps are great for this kind of projects. The only issue is that they are very tight. I can't attach them by myself, so Gary has to help, but they hold really well. I'm drilling the holes for self-tapping screws using a thin drill bit. And I'm going to sink in the drilled holes for the heads of the screws to sit flush with the surface. And finally I'm assembling this side. Then I'm removing the clamps, turning the structure over and clamping the shelves on the other side and repeating all the process again, finally assembling the organizer. So that nothing falls out of the shelves, I'll make limiters out of a thin plank. I'm making them 14 inches long. I'm cutting the side planks, I'll need six pieces and I'll install them to sit right under the sides of the baskets. I'm placing the planks and drilling the holes for the screws. Then I'm contour sinking the holes and fastening the planks. I'm also sanding the plank edges slightly. Then I'm fastening the upper planks to the top of the rack. In order to hide the screws and the side planks edges, I'll attach some framing which I'll make using the same planks. I'm attaching them using wood glue, best is to use water-resistant glue here. And I'm also attaching a plank to the top of one of the sides, for hanging hooks here later. After the glue has dried, I'm sanding the organizer again and dusting it thoroughly. I've decided to stain the organizer using my favorite wood stain in oak. I use it quite a lot, it's super cheap and I love the color so much, I think it looks great. I'm 
After staining, I'll seal the organizer. I'm using a floor sealer here, so I hope it will be very durable. The bathroom has the humidity issue, so I was really picky about the sealer here. I've decided to add hooks to the organizer to be able to hang a sponge or a brush here. And I'm also attaching the wheels to the bottom to be able to move the organizer easily when I'll need to load the washing machine. And so I've got a handy mobile trolley, I'll store laundry detergent on the lower shelf and the upper one is for shampoos, conditioners, shower gels and the best thing is you can roll it around to not be in the way. You can also paint it whatever color you like and you can also make such trolley for a kitchen too. The second organizer is inspired by the drawers with chicken wire inserts that I came across on Pinterest. First of all, I'll assemble the front and the back panels. I'm making them out of thin planks, 1 and 5 eighths inches wide. I'm cutting the planks into pieces of 13 and 3 quarters, 10 and a half, 6 and 2 and 3 quarter inches. You want to make two pieces of each size for the two drawers. You can cut them by hand or use a miter saw and to make sure the sizes are the same, you can fasten several planks together with a clamp and cut all of them at once. After cutting, I'm giving the planks a light sand to remove any fraying. I'm going to make the front and the back frames of the drawers double layered and I'll insert chicken wire in between to make a chicken wire sandwich. I've cut all the parts to have overlaps in the corners to have a good connection. I'm trying out the chicken wire on the planks and cutting four rectangle pieces of the appropriate size. The wire should sit between the two layers of planks, but not go over the edge. Make sure to wear gloves when working with wire to avoid being scratched. I'm placing the wire inserts on the first layer of planks. It's better to tap the wire with a hammer a little. The planks are quite soft and the wire will be pressed into the surface of the wood a little, then the layers will sit closer. I'm placing some extra pieces under the planks to make sure the clamps do not crush them. I'm applying wood glue. Then placing the chicken wire here and installing the second layer on top. Then extra wood pieces again and finally I'm clamping the assembled panel. I'm adjusting it if necessary and after that I'm leaving the panel to sit until the glue dries. I've decided to make the bottom of the drawers solid so that nothing falls out. I'm connecting four 2-inch planks together. The length is the same as of the wire panels, 13 and 3 quarter inches. And I'm attaching the two crossbar planks on the inside. I'm making them 9 inches long to stick out for a half an inch on each side. I've made the four wire panels and the two bottoms. I'll make two levels here and I'll make organize a post out of three quarter by one inch lumber. I'm cutting them 18 inches long. Uh, here I also picked the size using the cosmetic bottles, which I have as a guide to be able to take them out easily. I'm attaching the front panels to the posts and clamping until dry. Here one of the panels should stick out a little over the edge of the posts, I'll attach the bottom here later. You want to make two parts like this for the front and for the back. Once 
while the parts are drying I'll work on the bottoms. The lower one will be solid, but for the second level I need to cut out the pieces in the corners where the pasts will sit. I'm marking the areas I need to cut out and I'm doing this with a box knife as the planks are quite thin. And then I also need four more lumber pieces to connect the short sides of the boxes with the bottom and the posts. I'll use 3 quarter by 3 quarter inch planks, 5 and a half inches long to sit between the posts. Here you can use any planks you have on hand actually. I'm making the short sides of the drawers out of the same planks I used for the bottom parts. Each side consists of three pieces of 8 and 5 8 inches. I'm pre-marking and drilling the planks to screw them to the posts. Now I'll connect the short sides to the long ones. I'm fastening the pre-drilled planks first to one side. And then I'm attaching the second part, so now I have the front and the back panels connected from one side. Next I'm placing the upper level bottom to place to fasten the sides. And then I'm attaching the lower level bottom. After that I'm screwing on the other short side. Here I'm using the large screws with semicircular heads to be decorative. And then I'm staining the organizer and then sealing it and I'm using the same products as for the first organizer. I'm so happy about this new organizer. I stored all of the cosmetics in plastic baskets before and it wasn't very convenient and took a lot of space, but now, thanks to the second level, everything is very convenient and compact. I even have some free space left. You can also make wire storage boxes like this if you don't need the second level and add rope handles. They look super cute. Well, I hope you liked our organizers I've made. By the way, I have another video on making an organizer for storing makeup cosmetics. If uh, you haven't seen it, I'll link it below. Thanks for being here and we'll see you in my next one. Bye!